What up, dogs? Welcome back to Rad Resales. I'm Natalie and I'm a full time reseller, meaning I flip items online for a profit and I make a full time living off of it. In today's video, I will be showing you this weekend sales and we had some really quick flips, same day flips or the next day flips that I really want to show you guys. So stay tuned and let's just jump into the video. Okay, first and foremost, we do sell on multiple platforms, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Depop, and Facebook Marketplace. So five different platforms, and we did make at least one sale on every platform. That's again the power of cross-listing, guys. So let's just jump in. The first item is a really cool bomber hat. Hats are $1 at our Goodwill at least, and this is called the Hundreds, and it's actually 20% wool. This logo, be on the lookout for. Next, we have a pair of soccer cleats. It's a pair of Nike soccer cleats, and these, I'm not gonna lie, we've had these for a while. I don't even remember picking these up, but some of the Nike cleats are worth a lot of money, so definitely look it up. And do look it up by the exact model, so you get that exact comp. And you can also look on the inside on the, I don't know if you can see it here, on the inside tag here, you can barely see it. There's a number and you can look up that number to find this exact shoe on eBay. So that's a good tip with Nikes. Next we have this sweatshirt. If some of you see in one of my, our previous videos, we had this one there and it's a, I'm a little sad to see it go because it's such a nice sweatshirt. It's just vintage Hornet sweatshirt from logo seven huge huge tag and we did accept an offer on it for 60 dollars had it up for 80 uh but we thought it's a good deal um plus shipping and next we have just a plain champion dark gray sweatshirt with the embroidered logo on the chest um don't really recommend picking up the plain ones unless it's a different color reverse weave or you can get it for really cheap uh, because you will be around the $20 mark plus shipping, unless it's something, you know, more special with it. Next up, we have a pretty cool find. So many of you might have heard of Robert Graham, but maybe not all knew that he also makes pretty cool t-shirts. <laughs> He's known for his really cool dress shirts. He's got crazy patterns on it. Flip cuff is his thing. But he makes t-shirts too, and this is for St. Patrick's Day. So I, when we found this, I made sure to get it up ASAP since St. Patrick's Day is around the corner. And it sold within a week or so. Next, we have a bowl brand that we just recently discovered in our previous video where we happened to find two of them. It's a pair of Figs Nurse pants. And they're just really cute, dark gray with the baby pink drawstring. Oh. Uh, just a very good nurse brand to be on the lookout for. At our Goodwill, they normally have a section just for nurse clothes. So I always just take a peek and see if I can find that logo right there, figs. So yeah, definitely a new Bolo brand for us and should be for you too. Next up, we have another Bolo brand. We've talked about it multiple times before because we can't keep it on the shelves. And I'm not even lying to you. It is Under Armour. Project Rock. Okay, so Dwayne Johnson's collaboration with Under Armour. Pick up anything that you find that is by The Rock, basically. Uh, just quick flips. T-shirts, don't expect to get too much, but it's just a very quick flip. So $20 plus minus a few dollars shit. Next up, we have a Harley Davidson women's bundle. Uh, two t-shirts. This one's new with tags, this one is not. This one I just picked up maybe two weeks ago. This one maybe two months ago. Uh, summer's around the corner, get your t-shirts up now. All right, moving on to a very well-known Bolo brand. We got Lululemon. We just recently found this one, last video? Was it the last video before that? Where Will was talking about how he's seen just the logo shining when the worker was working uh, walking with it and uh, I put it up and it sold the next day and it even had a flaw right there there's like a uh, a thread that's come loose which was mentioned in the description and pictured still sold the next day so Lululemon obviously pick up 
anytime, every day, all day. Just to keep the whole Bolo brand flowing, we have Carhartt fleece line jacket, just in excellent condition here. We had a few minor flaws, but with Carhartt, that really doesn't do anything at all. Uh, I accepted the offer just to get it out before I gotta wait until fall since it is fleece lined. And I think I'm just gonna call this video Bolo <laughs> because we have another Bolo brand. This was new to me a few months ago. I found a hoodie and uh, it sold within a few days. This is a t-shirt. It is called Grunt Style. And um, even though the comps weren't really high on t-shirts, the south of it is high. This was a very quick flip. It sold within a week, I'd say. So yeah, just definitely be on the lookout for Grunt Style. If I didn't know about this brand, I would have just seen it. Kind of a plain black t-shirt with graphic and then there's no tag, it's just printed on. I would have just swiped by it because it's not vintage. But Grunt Style is definitely a brand I will be on the lookout for uh, in the future as well. Next, we have Patagonia. This was in a previous video, maybe a month ago or so that we found and I was super excited because, oh my God, it's Patagonia. I just love finding Patagonia. Uh, we don't come across it too often, so I was just super excited. But honestly, I thought we were going to get about $25 for it. It's just a, like, fleece-lined pullover, one-fold zip-up. I wasn't thinking too much of it. And it had, where is it? <laughs> An embroidered R right there. I thought this was a company, I don't know, like... Russell Athletics or something like that or just a, an actual company who was just put their logo on the Patagonia for their employees but I looked it up and turns out this is not a company logo this is actually model logo I guess you can call it the model is actually called R1 Regulator which I had never heard about before and they sell very well for a good amount of money so always look up a, an item if it has some specifics that you're not really sure about like a letter even though it's a brand you know there's different values within different categories and items within a brand so with Patagonia definitely look up any small specifics you can find that might differentiate it from the other models of the brands all right closing in on the end we have a Grateful Dead button-up with like stitched logo skulls all over the shirt. It's front and back, just a really cool button up. When I found it, I looked up the south through rate, had over 100%, but not too many comps. And I couldn't find this one exactly. So we kind of just <laughs> made up a price based off of the other ones that were available, kind of just put ourselves in the middle and it sold within a few days. Last, we have vintage Nike white tag a pair of track pants completely black with the black swoosh on the other side here and they got fitted bottoms and we just accepted the offer normally we'd want more but because it's completely black and you can't really see the swoosh so people can't really see that it's nike uh we decided to just accept the offer to get the quick flip i forgot we also made a sale on facebook marketplace Patagonia hoodie, obviously a very good bolo brand. Always be on the lookout for, always pick up the hoodies, definitely. And this one sold within 20 minutes. That wraps up the sales we had this weekend. Had a good amount of bolo brands going out and that just shows why bolo brands are bolo brands. It means be on the lookout for. It's because they sell. That is all I got for you guys today. Thank you again for watching. Be rad, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.